I had a dream just now, before I woke up, that I had a lush head of hair. So much I could like run my fingers through it and style it. Weird. What's up, Big Frank? This, our apple tree is still continuing to blossom here. I think it's fully, fully blossomed now. It looks really nice in the springtime, right? But in fall time, it gets a little bit annoying, I'm sure, even though we haven't been here through a fall yet, because all those apples fall to the ground. And then we have to pick them up. Or the dogs will start eating them. It's not that that would be bad, but they get rotten. I don't want them eating rotten apples. So we're remembering the camera today. Yesterday, I, uh, I left you guys at home by accident, so you guys had the day off yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it. Sometimes dreams can seem so real. Weird. I've never had hair like that. My hair grows funny though, even on my face, like my beard. It grows in a swoosh. It starts from here and it grows this way. <laughs> so if I want to grow it long, I have to get it past that awkward phase where it's just like woof, growing all crooked. And then after that, I got to use a bunch of like beard products and then comb it out a couple times a day. Make sure it stays straight. That's so why I just keep it shorter, whatever. I think it looks cleaner. Not too short, but just short enough. I can't shave it all the way off because I look ridiculous without a beard. So thank God I'm not losing the, 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 the hair on my face. Anyway, hair aside, it's time to go do some trucking. I've already got my uh, instructions for today. We are once again heading up to Arburg. Distinguished, yes. I'm gonna head up there, we're gonna pick up some freight, we're gonna bring it back, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good day. Even though it's going to rain later today, it's gonna be a good day because it's probably gonna be a pretty good thunderstorm, so we're gonna get, probably get a little bit of a light show this evening, I hope. And then it's gonna rain the rest of the week and all of next week. But that's good because the farmers need it. And we need food. I really like food, I like to have food every day. So I'm kind of obsessed with it just a little bit. So if it's good for the farmers, they make the food, it's a good thing. There's a little song about that too, isn't there? A little rain is a good thing. Talking about something totally different, but. <laughs> We're gonna make the most of it. Hey, at least we got a, a truck waiting for us to drive around today. I'm gonna burn some diesel fuel. So I've been trying an experiment with my pickup. I've been putting, uh, for the past two weeks, I put premium fuel in here, 91 octane. Uh, I wanted to see if it would really make a difference. Right off the bat, I noticed that the engine ran a lot quieter. And after two weeks, I'm actually getting better fuel mileage, which is what I expected, both of those things. I don't know if the savings and fuel mileage will pay for the extra price of 91 octane. But it is helping out a lot. Like uh, I'm averaging, well, the, the Americans don't understand liters. I understand that, but that's what I speak in. And I'm saving about a liter per hundred kilometers. So, uh, that's the savings of what uh, I drive about 100 kilometers a day, so that's the savings of about a dollar forty per day right now, or dollar thirty per day at regular gas prices. At premium, uh, premium gas prices are about a dollar forty-one, I think, dollar forty-two. I think that's where it's at. So about a dollar thirty per day. I drive five days per week. That's six, seven bucks a day, and it costs an extra. <clears throat> cost about an extra 10 bucks to fill the tank. So I'm still losing out money. I'm not balancing out at all. It still costs more money to run premium. But in the long run, a couple more bucks a week in fuel, I think it treats my truck a lot better. The truck's paid off, so I don't have any truck payments on it. 
I don't know, what do you guys run in your vehicles, your personal vehicles? Do you run regular, medium, premium? Uh, what do they call it where you live? Uh, do, you, do they still call it premium there, like the, the best of the best fuel? I fuel at Shell, because they got the best gas and the best fuels. And uh, they call it their V-Power, I think. V-Power, not new one octane. The best fuel you can get, something like that. I don't know, it says on their pump. I used to fuel at co-op in Steinbach because at co-op you get money back at the end of the year, but co-op for some reason where I'm at here, I think it's St. Anne Co-op, they hang on to half of it and they don't give it to you until you retire. Whereas Red River Co-op, they'll give you the whole check back. You get like something like seven to eight cents back per liter at the end of the year. So I don't know why St. Anne Co-op holds on to half of it without even asking. I never asked them to do that. I don't want them to do that, but they do it anyway. So I have money sitting in their bank account that they won't give me until I retire. And I didn't like that at all. I don't like them taking my money and holding on to it for me. Especially in the inflation climate that we're in right now. I want to invest that somewhere where it's going to gain money and not lose value. Or gain value and not lose value. But no, I can't get it out of them. So I stopped fueling there. Made me angry. Yeah. You going to hold on to my money? Fine. I'll just go get air miles at Shell, even though I can't really fly anywhere right now. Hey, I'll have a bunch of air miles. I don't know. You guys have any special promos where you fuel at? I don't know. Let's just get to the truck. Okay, let's go do some trucking. So we got to hook up to a roll tight right away and head up there. We're going to be grabbing a step deck, which uh, <clears throat> they don't always open the best. <laughs> so it'll be a little interesting, but the guys up there, I'm hoping they'll give me a hand if I need it. If not, I'll just struggle away till it's open. That's okay. There she is. Let's go check the oil. I'm assuming the oil is exactly where it was yesterday, as it always is. It doesn't burn. It burns a little bit, a little, little bit. Towards the end of the oil's life, when they're about to do a service again, you can tell that it's gone down just a little bit on the dipstick. That's not bad for a truck that's got over a million miles. And since it's a city truck now, it gets beat up a little bit more than a highway truck. Uh, not intentionally, we don't, we're not rough on it intentionally, but you know, it's constantly stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, because you're in the city. And uh, you know, hooking up to the trailer, unhooking all the time. So it just, uh, it gets used more regularly than just a truck just rolling down the highway all day. But anyways, it's still doing really good. It's got a Cummins engine in there. Um, the engine does need some work, it runs a little rough when it's cold, but they know about it, and uh, so far, it, it's it's still, still running great. I like it. Anyway, okay, I'm going to get my stuff in there, I'm going to get myself in there, I'm going to buckle myself in so I don't fall out. I'm going to go on up to Arburg. It's going to be a good day. Oh. Lights are working. Trailer's still filling up with air back here. For some reason, this trailer in specific takes forever to fill up. It must have a very big air tank. Well, it's got three axles, so... Always takes a little longer to get this thing ready to go once I give it air. You know? That's okay as long as it does work. The air suspension filling up in the back here. That's good. Got all of our lights working back here. License plate light. It's working. These are all latched shut. Let's go inside here. These things are hard to open sometimes. Oh, fantastic. A big mess. And a big mess on the floor. I just swept this one out last time I loaded it, like last week. It's all just filthy again. 
And what's with all this here? Okay, well. Guess we're just going to uh, take a few minutes here and get this organized. I'm gonna need my gloves. I should have been expecting this, right? I was just expecting to come in here and make sure the trailer was empty. That's okay. That's all right. We'll clean it up. So we just got going. Uh, a little further behind than I wanted to be. I wanted to be a half hour down the road already, but I had to had to clean up this trailer. So we'll say hello to Wilbert and all his cousins here today, our good old Canada geese friends. We're running a little bit further behind than uh, where I wanted to be because I had to clean up and organize inside the trailer. Let's see where our friends are. Are they awake? They're not usually here, they're usually right around the bend over there. And I haven't seen any of their little baby geese yet. Sleeping or what? Wake up! Bunch of lazy geese, it's time to get up. Only three of them. Ah. What's going on here? What's going on here? Why are you pulling onto the shoulder here, bud? You should have your hazards on or something. Hard. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Our geese friends, uh, at least we haven't seen too many get that have been hit this year yet. Those things can do some damage to your vehicle, especially if you got a car that rides a little lower. Even a pickup, like anything. All the bumpers of today are mostly like plastic or aluminum or whatever. I mean, those geese, they'll damage your car. discovered that there are some of you that live around here. You came and said hi to me last time I was out here waiting to get loaded. It's a special shout out to you guys. Nice little town I got going on here. I don't know exactly how big it is or how many people live here. Like I said, I'm guessing, oh, no more than a couple thousand. Mr. Fancy Pants, watch out, I'm coming. Nice Lincoln. Wouldn't want to ding that thing up with his old truck. Oh, she smiled at me, so at least she's nice. Mrs. Fancy Pants. You know, you never really uh, realize how nice those luxury vehicles are until you get in them. We move a lot of cars, as you know, and a lot of very nice cars. And every now and then, uh, I get to uh, physically move them off the trailer or or whatever, or uh, just haul them in the trailer. And you can take a peek inside, and the, the options that come with these cars are insane. Like 50 years ago, not even 50 years ago, 10 years ago, my pickup truck would be considered like the Cadillac of trucks. You know, it's got mobile Wi-Fi on it, it's got a, a touchscreen monitor, and it's just a basic work truck right now, you know? 
the air conditioning power windows. A couple of decades ago, I would have been driving, I would have been Mr. Fancy Pants, you know? But now you get into like a, a Cadillac nowadays and everything is like a digital touch screen, the entire thing. And that's just a Cadillac. Then you go up in brands, you know, you start getting into you know, Porsches, uh, uh, Bentleys, uh, Aston Martins. You start uh, getting into the supercars, like, you know, the Ford GT or the, the Lamborghinis, Ferraris. And it makes my pickup truck look like a primitive thing from a hundred years ago. It's amazing what they put into these vehicles. It's just, never would have known if I wouldn't have sat in one. Because why would I be at a, a Lamborghini dealership, right? Why would I be at a Bentley dealership? I walk in there, they're gonna look, take one look at me and be like, hey, this guy can't afford one of our cars. What's he doing here? Security, security. Get this trucker Josh guy out of here. This is a gentleman's establishment. where we pick up our freight. I know the shippers there very well. They actually watch my videos. So, hey guys, shout out to you too. Hopefully, uh, they don't got too much for me, but if they do, that's okay too. At least it's not raining up here. The sky looks like it's blue here. Uh, further south in Steinbeck, it's supposed to have thunder showers later on this afternoon. I think I told you that already. I'm looking forward to that. I'm hoping we're going to have a really good thunderstorm. I mean, if it's already going to be raining, we may as well make it worth it and just have a, an awesome thunder and lightning show. I love thunderstorms. As long as the lightning doesn't hit anything that starts a fire, I mean, I just like the loud bangs. It was a very small pickup. Probably just like 1,500 pounds or so. I haven't even checked the paperwork. It's very small, I put it on the tail of the trailer. And once I get it to the yard, they can do what they want with it. They're either gonna add something more to the trailer or uh, add it to another trailer. But we're coming into Toulon here. So Arburg and Toulon, you guys know those names very well already because that's where I always seem to find myself. I have a regular pickup here and regulars out in Arburg. But if I go up to Arburg, I always stop in Toulon at the co-op here anyway. This is my coffee stop uh, and bathroom stop. I'll stop here to use their washrooms real quick and then I don't like going into a business and using their washrooms and not buying anything. I I always feel bad about that. So I always go in there, I buy a, I buy a coffee and use their washroom and then this is exactly halfway between work and Arbor. So it's a good halfway point, just a quick five, 10 minute stop and we're on our way. It's just up here on the left. I'm here almost Almost every day it seems, because even when I come to Toulon, I usually stop here anyway. Almost every day. I'm sure they know me by now. Nice little small town, you know, gas bar, general store. We got the diesel pumps here. I fuel across the street at the Petro Canada if I, if I need to get fuel while I'm out here. I don't have a fuel card for co-op. Go around the back here, and unless if somebody parked back here and blocked it, that's always nice. And they got a little truck parking area, and uh, over here, I usually just park right along the fence. Uh, without dragging my trailer into the fence, that is key. There you go, you see? There you go. And you come back here, you hook it back around. And you line yourself right up here beside this like super fast looking van. It's been here for weeks. It's got a spoiler on the top and everything. That is fancy. That's actually pretty cool. I like those old vans. They're like travel vans, eh? You can get like a bed in there, a little sink maybe. Travel around on those things. People used to do it all the time. Put my 
myself. I am officially off duty for the next few minutes. I'm gonna go grab my coffee and uh, keep on heading down. How many of you stop at this place here? You guys know what this co-op is? Have you been here before? It's a nice little place, very clean inside. And, and it's filming again. And while we're stopped here, let's go check on our freight. Uh, make sure everything is still as it should be as I left it. Okay. Okay. And there she is. Everything looks as it should. Beautiful. Oh, hey, look. Oh, these things are awesome. I'll take that. Everything's all good. Yeah, straps are still tight. Oh, a little. No, that's that was supposed to be like that. Here we go. We got a crate in the back there. All of those spool-looking things are strapped down onto this piece that's strapped down to the deck. Oh, I'll try not to bonk my head on the way out. Walk this bad boy up. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Why aren't you lining up here? Come on, come on. Come on, world. I should just... That's weird. Usually it just lines right up. There we go. There we go. And then, just like every time when I stop, just do a walk around the trailer. Yeah, you know, make sure everything's in order. Again, make sure there's air in the tires, make sure nothing's hanging off. If you have compartments on the side of your trailer where you put equipment and stuff, make sure that the doors are latched shut properly. these are all latched properly back here what's this it doesn't need to be hanging out here oh it's just part of the there's an x across an x that goes in here two straps that stop the trailer from wobbling so much yeah it's supposed to be there everything's looking good to me wonderful let's go get our coffee Somebody's getting a spanking. We just passed the scale too, so I wonder if, oh, it is the trucker cops. M.O.T. Oh, uh, what did he pull this guy over for? Oh, his signals aren't working properly. Now I need to get into that lane. Why are you guys all going so slow now? This guy right here is a trucker cop. Act natural. You stay back there, don't turn your lights on. Oh, it was a good day, just like we said it would be. It was a good day. It's not over yet though. It was supposed to be raining this afternoon. Instead we get these clear skies. I could have ridden my motorcycle to work today. And I totally would have if the weathermen wouldn't have lied to me. Three days in a row now I could have ridden into work. Three days in a row. Lost opportunity to ride. But I got my tires, uh, got some new tires on here today. These back ones are new, it's also new rims. They're shinier than the last ones. Let's check this side. I haven't actually checked this side yet. Oh yeah, they're much better than the other ones. Okay, so I'll be able to shine them up. They need a little bit of love. This whole truck needs a little bit of love. But, you know, maybe I'll talk to them and if we can 
put just a little bit of love into this truck, we can actually make it look really nice. It's already got the nice extended wheelbase. I like that. But uh, yeah, a little bit of love and that would be one beautiful truck. That'll go for a long time yet. You know, I'd love to be able to have a, a truck that I could take to truck shows, you know? Maybe one day. That's all you can do in life, right? Keep dreaming. Maybe one day it'll work out. So today is done anyways. Off we go. Four o'clock, I got here at 6.30. That's a nine and a half hour day. We were gonna get those tires switched around tomorrow, but since we got them done today, don't gotta worry about that then. Gotta be up in Arbord early again tomorrow. Gotta pick up uh, 40 feet worth of product. Now, I don't know if that's 40 feet, like it, there's two orders, both are 20 feet long. Very often they're side by side, then that's only 20 feet of trailer. It sounded like it's gonna be 40 feet of trailer, but I've been there before and they were, they were able to put it side by side and then it's only 20 feet of trailer. You see? Take up less space, you can put other stuff on there. Make more money. We like that. Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow. So that's the plan. I gotta be in a little early again tomorrow so that I can get up there. I'll be here again at 6.30 tomorrow morning, uh, ready to go, so that I can be rolling out of here at 7 a.m. I'll be up in Arbor for 9, 9 a.m. Wish I would've taken the motorcycle. Look at this. Beautiful weather. You know what, I think we're gonna go home. Brit's working until 6.30, it's four o'clock now. I'll probably be home at 4.30. I think I'm gonna take the bike out. I'm gonna go for a rip anyway. Weatherman lied to me, he's not gonna stop me from riding.